these are the oppressed people guys they are suffering so much can't you see in their face how much they are suffering look they have put this uh, this very the suffering individual here in front look how much he's suffering guys look she she has uh, looks like a whore and i mean like a like someone that really has suffering from from all the injustices of this world mm, you know, they have the coca-colas here and uh, with the muzzles everybody and they are about to change the world guys with uh with the communism hand sign here and they are very pissed as you can see Ah, oh, we are pissed. Sometimes you just need, you just need to to see the posture, and the few things you know to understand with what morons we are dealing here, guys. So today, uh, guys, and of course the title is well. First of all, the the magazine is the New Internationalist. You know, internationalist is merging the sheep. You know, communism. Uh, the world unspun. Oh. Uh, look, adjusting the muzzle and everything. Oh, they're taking a picture of me. Oh. Uh, these reptilians want me to, to put me in the cover of the magazine. They, they, they say that oh, I can go on the street and they will take a picture of me and, uh, and I will share it with my uh, zombie friends and, uh, and I will look cool. And, uh, and I go there. Uh... Uh, this is exactly what they did in Albania, guys. Uh, they uh, they caused the stress to the sheep uh, before, and then the sheep will go in the street, protest for change, ask for change, and they will give their change, of course. And so, but the, these morons have no idea because humans are, are morons, guys. The, 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 everything is just there for them to see, but they don't care. And, uh, and look, but uh, but uh, the thing is that they say they are suffering, guys. Oh, people, look how much they are suffering, guys. The uh, the whore here, look, look at the whore how is dressed. Just think about Instagram and uh, sharing her pictures and Facebook and all this BS. Look at these other morons here, guys. And they are changing the world. Morons, total morons, guys. So today, uh, this one, uh, uh, I'm gonna close with uh, with beautiful footage that I took of. Uh, Little chicks, guys. The the swallow that I have just here uh, in the entrance of my home, just uh, you know, the, the little ch chicks you know, are waiting with them. I just put the GoPro near to the to the uh, how do you say the place where they stay. Or oh, maybe I can like show you just a little assaggio, just a little snippets of what you will see. Are uh, very very. Uh, but but I, I will also talk about this one, this little swallow here that is hurt, and maybe uh, now that we speak maybe has died. But look at the footage that I'm able to catch, as you can see. These are four little chicks <laughs> waiting for mommy to come. Ah, uh, and, and this is not the, like the modern mommy, you know, that uh, only only thinks about uh, posts on on a, on. A, on, on her Instagram and, and looking sexy and everything, just enjoying herself, you know. Uh, animals are stupid, unfortunately, they don't get it. Okay. Yes, you can come in, in my house, if you want. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna start, uh, and, uh, and we're also gonna talk about... Ah, uh, 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 and also... Uh, <laughs> are you ready, ship? No. As you can see, humans never learn. They are dumb. They tell them what their issue is, and they think, yes, that's my issue, they are right. But they always fall into traps. So are you ready to clap your hands and move your feet? Just like this little, little bird that thinks he's of the other sex, but just like humans, you know? And uh, you gotta respect the training, I'm telling you, okay? So, um, yeah, this is how... Uh, 
oh, beautiful people this is how I see them you know when I, when I s just see them you know it's like they live I see them like this you know when I see this sexy morals like this you know these empty people and uh, from time to time uh, and so channel channel with some controls look how they cleverly they just put the f plane there with photoshop of course because it looks unbelievable they just waited for the plane to, to, to pass there it's unbelievable yeah? and so channeling the demons to the sheeple some controls here and some controls there it's good for you and here's the serpent they want you to tr to trust the serpent that just the serpent will will serve you uh, you morons and so they program them oh the serpent is good go go and take the the knowledge that the serpent gives you i'm saying serpent because uh, look now jewels are old serpents look serpent here and serpent here and the serpent here and the apple of course because the serpent they trust the serpent and not god Vulgary, vulgary. Oh me! And the half uh, unknown sex, sex X uh, entity here, orange, which is 33, of course. Now, uh, the uh, experts of the reptilians say that killing yourself is good for you, and so they are saying that the spraying uh, with uh, cancer causing uh, toxic shit, your food is good for you. And it's Ansa saying this. Uh, Ansa, you can you can you can trust them. Uh, backwards is uh, ass and uh, Azina. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Sheep? Are you ready for what I'm going to give you, sheep? Are you ready? Okay. Now shut up because I have. Uh, I say shut up because we're gonna. And so this thing happened in Miami, and uh, you know, guys, I don't know what the uh, excuse will be for this, what happened in Miami. You know? uh, but uh, uh, well, we don't. Uh, do you do we really uh, just that like that example that I have said you know that uh, that when you go to this room where the, you see blood everywhere and you uh, and, and there's uh, sh some sheep and some hyenas and you go there and, and they just say to you mm, I didn't do anything you know, they were just mm. you you clear you know deep inside you you know who's done it you know and so uh, to see there what's the real cause of what they di why they did this of course they will invent something that uh, it's not plausible and uh, uh, and but here is my my thinking but maybe maybe it's because I'm since I'm seeing that here in Italy they are doing this thing uh, if you remember they uh, destroyed a bridge here in uh, Genoa as I said and also lately they dropped this lift you know with tourists and 15 people die whatever or or maybe not you never know uh, but in both cases they blame the the private companies so that they would push you know because they would say a private company only thinks about uh, money and so they cannot be trusted so let's give all the power to the state you know more communism you know? and so maybe we still don't know maybe uh, they will link it to, to some white supremacists not that uh, just wanted to kill some black people i don't know or, or with what they will come up you know but uh, maybe they will do the same thing here even here in us you know starting you know to blame the companies that uh, are just there which is a way to take away that few power still that uh, the sheep had, you know, and turn them back again in communism, you know, where uh, people are just slaves and uh, daddy is just up there, the state that gives you permission for everything. Permission to go out, permission to do whatever thing, you know, whatever 
activity yeah, that you would like to do. Yeah. So we will see with what they will come up with this, but of course we know that it will be lies. So uh, we know that magazines and media are all, all controlled by by these uh, 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 benefactors of humanity, and the uh, and this is uh, Maxim, I guess it was Maxim, uh, Maxim.com, yes, Maxim magazine guys, which is uh, really wants your the well-being. Uh, you know, so the Rockefeller Foundation goal the Rockefeller, uh, the Rockefeller foundations foundations goal was to promote the well-being the well <laughs> well fucked <laughs> of mankind throughout the world throughout the world oh, everywhere they love everybody can't you see their face look how love in their faces and um, a titan of industry and philanthropy and so let me just go quickly. Oh no, but uh, I always forget the now from what the hell is going on here. From now on, I have the possibility of this new water. Eh? A Rockefeller's charitable foundation set the stage for modern philanthropy, okay? Medicine and education, and and uh, tackled tackled the greatest issues facing mankind. In the twentieth century, don't forget. Okay, no, 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 don't go. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you fucking OSX? Why are you play with me, guys? I have all to memorize still my shortcuts in my mouse that I, I just go. So you just, I just anticip anticipated some things, but. So I just had to go like this, not use the scroll and shit. So, can you please stop this creepy music? Because I don't want to sell you anything, guys. I'm just, I'm just showing this, uh, this, 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 this one. So, d just remember, at the end of all this BS, guys, you will see some beautiful swallows. And so, if you want, you can stay and, and make a laugh with these morons here, these whores of uh, that. Uh, the reptilians buy to tell them that oh, Rockefeller is a great guy. So far before it became popular, uh, trendy, or even good business to make such a public commitment, Rockefeller, a titan of unmatched financial and philanthropic impact, was whose uh, very name is now synonymous with the ideas of success and wealth, did it privately. Did it privately? They just as I said the other video guys before this one. They are humble guys. Uh, so Rockefeller was born into, and, and this is something they always do with uh, these people guys with the reptilians. The reptilians always have to start just like you. They are humble people just like you. And look where they came just with hard work. Yeah. So uh, this is we'll do it with all of them. But when you do real research, you will find out that they have all the right blood to be where they are, you know? So, uh, Rockefeller was born in, uh, into un unremarkable circumstances in a small town in upstate New York in 1839. After the family moved to Ohio in the whatever, he dropped out of school and began working as a bookkeeper, man. A bookkeeper, man. The hard-working young man. <laughs> was sensing a major opportunity. <laughs> they make it look, you know, that oh, it was just organic, whole thing, you know. And uh, uh, a, a devoutly religious Baptist, Rockefeller believed that God... Oh shit, can you fucking move this thing, please? Oh shit, man, the computer, guys. So he was a great believer, guys. Just like uh, the, 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 the DJ, you know, was, you know, how was, was uh, uh, Trump, how do you call him? Donald J, whatever. Uh, Rockefeller, so he believed in God, whatever. Uh, he thought that God granted him the this incredible bounty, and thus he felt a profound obligation to do good things with his wealth. 
from the beginning. I was trained to work, to save and to give. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rockefeller. You are an example. So Rockefeller, R for reptilian, uh, was in uh, fact a man less intent on accumulating wealth than he was on best using his profits to help others. That's why he did it. You don't get it. Man, he had already given away some 158 million dollars uh, to a range of causes and recipients, you know, that he, you know, uh, you know they, they move humanity guys with money. And so, but since, you know, uh, if the state w did that, ah, it's communism, ah, it's slavery, you know. But if you tell them, no, look, you, you can all compete with the reptilian here. But, uh, but, but uh, unfortunately, a reptilian will uh, go at the top of it because you don't have the teeth of a reptilian, of course, and, and the connection of reptilian, uh, most of all. Uh, and so he, but he, he was saying to, in this article that he was not efficient in this, and so that's why he created the Rockefeller Foundation, so that uh, this giving would be more efficient. Uh, to prom to promote and the, uh, this uh, you know the foundation was uh, seeded with fifth seeded with 50 million worth of uh for well-being of making what the hell am i saying no i went to the other line so 50 million worth of standard oil so you know so uh, he worked hard with, with the oil you know to give you oil ships so it is normal that he has all this money uh and given the mission to promote the well-being of mankind throughout the world. This was his mission, guys. Reptilian love so much the sheep, uh, the, the humans. Uh, John D. Rockefeller Jr. and uh, Gates helped... Uh, where, where is the other piece? Invented the model of large-scale philanthropy, large-scale coming on the faces of the sheep, and the usage, the usage of scientific giving to determine appropriate recipients, you know, only those that the reptilians see as uh, worth, you know, and so the whores, you know, to get the money, they will be, they will do what uh, the guy giving you money at once. It's so easy, guys, you control the sheep, you just make them uh, totally uh, dependent on the money and take them away from their land so they will not grow anything and they will suck your dick. It's so easy, guys. So easy. And the article ends with this page. Uh, look at this. This is also interesting. But this page is, is, is bigger, so I have to, to go like this and I hope that it doesn't break everything. And so today, the Rockefeller Foundation focuses its efforts. Its, oh, its efforts. It's just, they are sweating to, to, to save you. Uh, its efforts on five extremely important missions nourishing people and planet are you listening sheep achieving health for all you know like they're doing right now ending energy poverty expanding equality if you see guys uh ending energy three and three here <laughs> is your university is just and then expanding equity three and three <laughs> <laughs> but again, th let's not see the results everywhere, yeah, because yeah, it's not. So. And economic opportunity, and seizing upon emerging frontiers. <sighs> How cool is this? My... Uh, but wait, there's more. Take inventions processes and technologies on the frontiers of science and figure out how to best utilize them to minimize inequities in the world climate they want to solve our climate issues they are behind cryptocurrency uh main oh main who's next next is this piece here the last one uh, john d rockefeller reptilian feller uh, not only change what the American global economies would look like in the 20th century, but what large-scale 
coming in the face of the sheeple uh, could accomplish globally. So the next time one hears about giving pledge, which is something that he invented, you know, this uh, you know, uh, is BS, you know, and another billionaire committing to donate the bulk of their fa uh, fortunes to charity. Remember, this isn't a modern trend or, c or concept, but one over a century old, sparked by one of the greatest industrialist and philanthropist the world has ever known. And after this slurping of the dick of Rockefeller, uh, Maxim, you can clean yourself now. And uh, no, no, I made a mistake. Do, do not, do, do not close this thing. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel. It looks like cancer. We are talking about cancer. This this horse here. You know? And now it's the time for another whore. Uh, they made him a whore economist. And look what the whore econ. What do you, th you what do you think uh, this whore economist think about Rockefeller guys? You, you just did it guess. You just guess. He's he is the famous uh, Friedman, but not. It's not very free because he has to suck the dick also of the reptilian to if he, if he wants to survive. And so thus Friedman points out that uh, while there may be problems in capitalism caused by monopolies, you know, just like uh, the reptilians, you know, taking the power of all this free market, you know, of all the competition out there, the, the sheep that think that the, well, the system is free, you know, they think it's uh, capitalism. So uh, he says there may be problems in capitalism caused by monopolies, you know, caused by reptilians. There are few viable, but you know there are few viable options to prevent them. Ah, oh, reptilian got us, got to, got to win all the time. Yeah, well, there's no option. Many experts also note that while encouraging competition and thus lowering prices is the goal of antitrust and antitrust laws, Standard Oil actually lowered prices. Okay, reptilian was good, while denominating, while dominate, while dominating. Uh, the market and ex exerting its control over the entire production, refinement and uh, sale of their product. In other words, Rockefeller was right, says uh, uh, this uh, slurping sh uh, sheep. Uh, so, okay, uh, it's good that reptilians is, uh, gets monopoly, guys, over you sheep. Because he is a reptilian. Come on, man. Come on, man. So it's not good that he lowered the price, huh? Please don't say that. And so he, uh, uh, this uh, moron here, was awarded, since he was a uh, slurped reptilian very good, you know, he, he was awarded in 76 a noble, you know, you've been a great sheep and sucked very well the dick of the reptilian. Okay, good job for you, Friedman. Uh, whore, Friedman, a whore. I would like to have like buttons here, you know, to just go to the next page, but no, I have to do it like this. Whatever. Let's not complain about BS, guys. Soon we'll, 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 soon they will lock us in some concentration camps, guys. So let's not BS with BS. So uh, here's the Marons playing soccer, you know, you would think they would just play, play soccer, but no, they use these Marons for propaganda. Um, Ita it Italy now that plays soccer here in this Euro 2020, uh, 2020 b because uh, the ships are retarded. They are in, in, in the, it's, uh, there's a re retard retardation of uh, the year, you know, because since the retard, you know, got the bug, you know, the, the, they are dumb, you know. The Euro instead of Euro 2021, uh, it's Euro 2020, because it's for the retard, you know, and so. And they are saying, ah, oh, why only some soccer players uh, need and not the and not every one of them? Ah, oh, why they did this? Amazing guys, but uh, nothing amazes us anymore, guys. Uh, and you know, from time to time, guys, I, I think to uh, doing videos like this, you know, because where where we point out the obvious, you know, uh, and and I imagine, you know, on the other hand, the reptilian, you know seen for example a video like this and they would say like duh of course it's like this you know 
it's easy to see but we are doing this to get rid of the morons that are animals you know they, they, they would say for example you know? yes if you yes of children but i don't know you give me no other option I'm, I'm i'm stuck here in this prison you know what can i do i point out the obvious here guys but without you know against true rage about it this is the obvious but whatever guys it's it is it's getting even boring to do this videos guys after a while you know seeing all the, the same shit you know here's the 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 next you know the this is the uk version of uh, uh, uh how dare you greta and it's, it's just painful to, to to see these little children you know used like like whores you know not even 18 years old you know it's, it's, who knows why, how young she must be? The sea is rising, so are we. Uh, I know, guys. I was thinking about uh, there is this uh, this horror ar artist called uh, Banksy, 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 Banksy. The bank. There's a bank there, so he it tells you, you know, before who is working. And he does a lots of uh, painting in the streets of London or whatever. Uh, full of propaganda and there is particularly if you if you type in Google uh, I should have saved it but I didn't uh, the migration bird and so you would see the swallow guys the swallow which is a bird that migrates and that I will show you at the end of this video beautiful images the, the, the image goes like this so he had uh the um the, the birds that stay in the city do not move like uh, pigeons uh like protesting to this swallow so so the image is 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 like this guys you have a bunch of of, of uh, pigeons if i remember it correctly maybe it's not perfectly like this but it goes like this you 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 have the birds that live in the city all all year you know and not do not migrate a bunch of them uh, saying to a uh, one swallow uh, go home like you know we don't want you here something like this you know and he linked this with uh, with n not wanting uh, Africans to come here for example here in Europe linked it with this uh, racism thing you know and how dare you protest you know but but the more uh, for example if you think about it the swallow guys goes in the house of the so to speak of the pigeon and then it leaves these birds that i'm seeing right here guys they come here the the young birds are grown uh in the summer and they fly away and they go away after summer is ended guys do not leave all all time there and this is uh, a thing that banksy uh, didn't told you you know that uh, that swallow will will leave but the Africans, and again, I have nothing against migrants, because I am a migrant myself, they will not leave. I didn't left it Italy, guys, since 93 or 4 that I'm here. I didn't leave, leave our, uh, Italy, and I'm not planning to leave. It's impossible for me to go in my home now, guys. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's like taking a plant from one place, you know, where it's grown and everything, and taking it to another place. It's not doable. Uh, but again, guys. Um, so, uh, this is alright. Now we have uh, this new Greta. And look at these people, guys. Just, you know, rich people, you know, that they tell them, you know, okay, you, you have the right blood, you know, you are uh, the daughter of this reptilian. Now come here and uh, you will we will make you famous and you will get uh, a podcast or that I will make you hear some sections now because it's very funny guys and you will get lots of money uh, by doing this so just uh, go and uh, with the uh, guys remember in my videos what I showed in Albania guys in the night is the same thing like little children protesting against co uh, uh, communism guys so they wanted to to overthrow communism to change the system there the same exact thing they do today guys it's the same they hide behind morons behind little children behind behind puppets there's a bit of a wind here so today guys it's um it's very nice temperature but uh nevertheless i chose to to stay uh naked so to speak 
And so here are the morons. You look at see, you see their dumb faces, guys. I don't care. I just want to have all this you know, the things that they will give me fame, and I can buy all bags and shoes. Uh, look at me. I am black also because ah, uh, they want also to promote the black, you know. Uh, what I'm saying, right? just, just black and white. Look, uh, relationship status breaking with capitalism. This is an emergency. Wake up, act now. Emergency. Look, emergency. They are laughing, guys, and being sexy and everything. You know, just ah, uh, look how they are suffering, guys. This is emergency, guys. Emergency for the reptilian, of course. I hate it. I had to go page down. I know, guys. And so he is also. She is also. He. She. Who knows? Is also uh, a doctor, or a future doctor, because she studies medicine. You know? And uh, and look, ah, uh, traveling. Uh, we don't use flight anymore because uh, it's bad for the environment. Uh, and they arrived at this point, you know, thanks to the to the virus, you know. They say to the ship, ah, oh, but you cannot fly because uh, there's a virus. And so, uh, tra traveling flight-free for the climate. Thank you so much. Sorti! She took the train to go to Paris, from London to Paris with the train. Ah, this was so sacrificing to her, him, whatever. Uh, but uh, he, she did it. Uh, he, she is called uh, they, uh, uh, Michaela Loach, Loach, Leach. I would say more appropriate. And here is Zurich, which is uh, the base of all evil, uh, Switzerland, where the you know that uh, that tunnel tunnel thing is. Uh, uh, collider, whatever the f stupid name is. Uh, trying to contact demons uh, in Switzerland, uh, tunnel, uh, but but it's science, it's science. Uh, CO2 youth against carbon. Now, guys, uh, th this will not be only uh, a face of this uh, more uh, of this uh, activist, but we will have also. Um, ah, here's how the activists are suffering, all sexy and showing the ombelico, ah, the belly and everything. Look, look at they, how they are suffering. It's an emergency. Can't you see they are suffering? People are dying. Ecosystems are, are collapsing. Do you get it, ship? Okay. Where is the... No. Oh, here it is. When... Um, when I come around... Green Day, guys. I've been listening to Green Day since I was... Uh, you know, the, 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 the first uh, rock band that I listened to when I was in... And, uh, very young guys, and so I started all there. And I, I've listened a lot of them, and so from time to time they heard this burp of oh, green there. Well, some song comes, and I hate it for that. And so uh, here's the serpent again, guys, as we saw uh, in the other video before this. A refugee welcome, ah, of course. Uh, reptilians loves to merge us, and so she's also, you know, poor little girl or poor entity, whatever. Uh, uh, and, uh, and look, she told, she says about white supremacy. Ah, oh, we can do well, what? What should we do with? So, what white people? What white people can do next? No, and uh, black, uh, and a black uh, entity will tell us this because they want to uh, make us fight with each other. From allyship to coalition. What the hell? And so, uh, uh, th these morons have uh, 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 a podcast, and now we will hear from them. But look, uh, well, uh, Leach is a climate justice activist co-host. Now we'll hear from them, guys. It's, you will just, you know, vomit, guys. Unbelievable. That these morons, they, they make them talk also. They have no brain. So, in 2020, uh, a medical student, uh, can't you see? Uh, she has the Yaks Yaks podcast, 
in 2020, Forbes, global citizen, you know, a new, world, a new world order citizen, and BBC brainwashing the sheep, a woman's uh, hour. Uh, she was given this uh, woman's hour name, woman's hour name, Michaela, as one of the most influential women in UK climate movement. movement. Uh, her work focuses on making the climate movement more uh, inclusive and focusing on the intersections of the climate crisis with oppressive systems such as white supremacy. Oh, how dare you exist? And my, you know, of course, the reptilian guys want uh, the sheep to fight with each other, you know. So if they tell to the black, ah, your problem is that, that white sheep there. Oh. If you just get rid of the white sheep, everything will be fine. And migrant injustices, you know, how dare you don't accept migrants, you know? Her activism, her activism has been featured in the BBC, Vogue, Cosmopolitan, L, and Vice. She uses her Instagram platform to the and the Yucks podcast uh, to communicate the need for system change change for so that it's good for the reptilian uh, climate justice and dismantling white supremacy uh, beautiful words supremacy how about dare you white people are so supreme in fact I'm, 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 I, I, as, to, to, for, for my black community, <laughs> community I, I'm more black in this video look like just for just for you. And so, is it time now to make this moron speak? Now, now it's time to make the moron speak. Guys. Listen to this, and uh, you would just have a laugh, guys. Listen to this shit. And I'm like, I'm depressed because of white supremacy. I'm anxious <laughs> because of white supremacy. My experience is that in the binary, I can't move forward. What's the goal of all my work, of all my activism, of all my dreams, of all my hopes? The goal isn't to get rid of everybody I disagree with. The goal is beloved community, right? And we know that intergenerational trauma can be passed on both behaviorally and in epigenetics. You will know this better than anyone. There is racial trauma mm -hmm. and there is this trauma of growing up in a world that will constantly through the smallest things sometimes like i've met mm. black people who have never been called the n-word or who have never been overtly subject to racism but in the small ways in the microaggressions it's like whether it's a big cut or a lot of small cuts you're still left bleeding and you're still harmed yeah. um and a lot of the time when it's a lot of small cuts um mm. you don't realize how much you've been bleeding mm -hmm. until They've, they've been so microaggressed, guys. Come on, guys. They've been so microaggressed. Go on, dummy. You're like, you almost bled out. And yeah. that's... I've, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to teach this kid something. Uh -huh. like she's like, clearly way more connected to the earth than I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> her that you can be 33 and walk around a park 33? and trees. Uh -huh. And find Just joy and connection with the earth. Because she will get to a place in life where people are going to tell her that she can't. And where the systems around her are going to tell oh, her how that, dare they? You know, microaggressor, professional, or wh whatever all the weird things are that we say. Um, <laughs> well, uh, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, these are people that are yeah, suffering, guys. Uh, yeah. Let's uh. do it all together for one second. Yes. <laughs> these people are suffering, guys. <laughs> They're gonna open up a therapy studio and like basically for every like for any anything that any of these like white people do, they're just gonna slap them and it might just and I was just like <laughs> Yeah, they're just making fun of the idea that just blaming the, the white for everything. Right now, you know? And historically mm. <laughs> Our minds are so conditioned to black and white thinking, and I'm really angry right now, and I want to punch some mm. people in the face. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that is so beautiful and wonderful. Oh. I feel like a really lovely way to end this episode. <laughs> and also, special thanks to all the patrons who support us on Patreon and make this show possible. Do you really think that the Patreon make the show possible, guys? It's not some someone else that gives them money and promotes this morons, guys? 
Of course, uh, there is also some morons uh, actually giving money in, uh, through donation to these morons, of course. But, you know, come on. Because they, they have to make it appear that, ah, nobody's pushing us. Ah, oh, we're doing this uh, just because we are just, you know, a few girls doing this podcast, you know. And so, uh, these are, you know, microaggressions, guys. These people have been microaggressed for so long, guys. It's it's not even funny, guys. How much they've been microaggressed. Look, you you can see the uh, the uh, signs of microaggression everywhere here, guys. Look at the signs of microaggression here. Look, look, the, 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 look. This is the face of of microaggressed uh, individual, of, of of badly raped and microaggressed individual guys uh, do we do we want to hear again that microaggression maybe i will uh, take that bit you know and i will repeat it in the future show if there will be future shows but uh maybe and uh, maybe uh okay m m i will leave the last part uh, after the swallow thing the swallow thing guys that there, there's a there's a bad there's a good thing and the bad thing now with the swallow the sw swallows and I'll show guys, and, and the bad thing is, it's really sad, guys, unfortunately. Uh, so let's get rid of the morons here, of the of the little horse. Uh, look, look, look how much microaggression also here, guys. Look, these people. Uh, look, look how much microaggression is. Coca-Cola, and phones, and uh, sexy uh, dresses, and everything. Ah, uh, look how how, how much they are suffering. And you know they have the muzzle in their face, guys, and they protest about about bullshit. So it's time now to leave humans, humans, the sheep, sorry. Uh, talking about you, and let's get now to the beautiful. Oh, let's listen, sheep. Now it's time for the beautiful swallows. So, so I was, you know. Going out uh, today because I saw the chicks, and so I said I will take my my GoPro. Now uh, listen. Uh, can you please loop this shit so it goes on like forever? Can you like lower the volume, please? Okay. Don't break my balls. Yes, I, I need this, you know, because you know, because it's uh, it's funny. But but this bit here is not funny, guys. I saw this bird when I just uh, got out of my house on the floor, and she was not afraid of me. And I said, "What the hell? Maybe uh, they are uh, they're starting to get used with me, you know." And, and so here here I come, uh, and this is the sad part, guys. Uh, you will see. Look what happens. So I approach her. Oh, this is going really slow. Let me stop the, this BS music. Shut the hell up. He, he cannot handle maybe music and playing this thing. So here's me trying to to, to approach her kindly, you know, but she she fly away immediately as I did this. Uh, and so, so did you see, you know, I was just, uh, went there and she was not leaving, she was seeing me, look, she's watching me. But maybe I, 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 I took the, uh, windy, windy, so now, let's go now to the birdies, to the chicks. Here it is, guys. I just uh, had this stick, you know, the selfie stick, you know, and just put it out, uh, where just under the roof you know they they have built this nest here nest was the word i was looking for and uh, they were this uh let me, let's see if this thing can play unbelievable cannot uh it's it's f the ram is full it's very very it doesn't work it doesn't play anyway you can see kind of you know little bird here 
Look at this. The beak, you know. And their and their beak is very wide, guys, because they have to swallow insects, you know. So they just catch them. Now you will see uh, a bird just approaching and uh, leaving because I was just there at the nest. So what I'll do now, guys, I'll take you to the part where the mommy is feeding or, or daddy because both of them feed them. So look now. Oh, now this one is, is working better for some reason. And this is at, at 1080p. How come this one is not uh, going... Uh, Look at this, guys. This is like uh, National Geographic, guys. Look at this stuff. Who wants this next bug? Mommy, me, me, mommy, me. Huh? Can't you see? It's beautiful. And look how how she's holding with her beak, you know. Now is is just waiting. Leaves again. <laughs> but you had to see. Did did you see that guy? At the end of the, the last frame, guys, there is a, a guy, you know, that didn't get anything. It is behind there, as you can see. Look, <laughs> it's this one here, guys. It's this one here. Look, take a look. What he'll do at the end. So the, the mommy leaves, you know, now just, uh, just goes up. This is just today, guys. Uh, happened. So mommy leaves and look what, what he does. Maybe I, no. Anyway, it's it's uh, it's going really slow, guys. It's it's no. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, my computer. Ah, oh, no, no, no. This is already the next video, and, and this this video is, is is funny, guys. Look, look what happens now. So, uh, mommy comes again, and this is sixty frames per second. So. Let's hope that uh, by doing it, uh, since this video is 30 frames per second, if I uh, uh, half it, it will go like slow, you know. Uh, hopefully you are seeing something, guys, I don't know, because it's going, my computer is not handling uh, three application. Uh, OBS is really hard on the RAM, so it's it cannot do it. It's going slow now. So from what I see, guys, look what happens now, guys, because this is funny. The bird that he, <laughs> but I wanted to show that guys at the end, you know, he just opens the mouth and the mouth. So, um, look, they are programmed by God, guys, to not poo in their house, and so they poo outside. And look what this guy here is doing. So I will go frame by frame because this way is the only way. Look what happens here, guys. There is, there are three beaks and one ass. The ass is here, guys. <laughs> Here, he turned the ass because he he he. They do not even watch, guys. They, they they are eyes are closed, you know, and yet they are programmed, you know, by God to not pull where they live. And so he is putting his asshole outside the nest, and he and his and he is dropping it. Look, the ass is outside. I'm going frame by frame. Take a look. The asshole is there for you to see. And the mommy is checking what he's doing. And look, the mommy. Look, the mommy, guys. Not like the woman of today that are programmed to just enjoy themselves. Look what the mommy does, guys. Just just a lesson to the woman, you know. Because uh, reptilians is promoting something that is not a woman anymore, guys. And I, I'm just, I'm, and I want to, to say to the woman. Look what you are supposed to do, you moron. Look, someone did this to you, you moron. Cleaned your ass. Look what the mommy will do now, guys. On, or even daddy, but mm, let's say mommy, okay. <laughs> uh, after giving birth and everything, look, the, the, the little chick is, is pooing now, guys. Look, he's coming out, look. I'll have to make it bigger for you, maybe. Okay, so let's go frame by frame, guys. Frame by frame, here's the poo coming out of the asshole, okay. Is this white thing, you know. And the mommy sees it and says, let me get the poo. Because they wash themselves. They do not have hands, guys. They have the beak. And so what they does? She just takes the poo out of the ass. 
tries one time, it, it just you know explodes like it's like it's just like a bubble, you know. Just uh, you know the the bird hasn't he not eaten much, you know, and so it's just like a bubble of the shit, you know. And here it takes it again and takes it away from the asshole. Look, took away the shit from the asshole because otherwise it would have fell down in the nest took it and went away with the shit this is what your mother did with you you morons that uh, just enjoy yourself you were like this you dumb moron and you are told by the reptilian to not do this anymore it's not funny hey well you moron someone did it for you you dumb morons uh so yeah. and now uh, he the ass is clean and he gets inside again <laughs> okay and now is the sad part guys the bird that i just told you was not flying away when he saw me unfortunately had uh for for me is dying because you you cannot survive in these conditions uh she managed to fly away from me but she from what i saw you know this bird had some issues with the ah oh no it's it's going slower so let's go ahead put it back to one speed so this bird unfortunately uh, is either old or just broke uh, the leg because it cannot uh, uh, move you know uh, and you will see her you know trying to, to you know hurts all the time it doesn't uh, get rest you know uh, it will hurt you know uh, so uh, right now this uh, thing here vlc whatever well it's 1080p cannot handle this so what happened guys is that uh, I, I will not show you anything creepy guys i will just you know I show you this because there's a lesson here guys unfortunately this is what happens guys uh, if you are if you're not strong anymore guys the uh, predator birds that are out there they, uh, they will eat her I mean it will be a miracle if it doesn't happen guys because uh, just uh, I'll show you with frame by frame guys like uh, just images because you cannot play it so this is the roof then it goes to uh, to the next roof now here is on the other roof and uh, here it is uh, the computer is struggling guys. I have to do it like this posing it and moving it scrolling like this you just cannot get up and fly, you know, because uh, they use very much the the legs, guys. Um, or so she's either old, guys, and her body just left her. It's time to die, you know. But uh, in my opinion, she just uh, broke uh, her um, her leg. Because while playing this, you can see that uh, the wings there were fine, but uh, and so just uh, on the other side, I, I was hearing the uh, crow, and here it is, and 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 it, it just one other house prevent this uh, crow from seeing her, but you know she was constantly moving from a roof to another, and sooner or later some predator bird will uh, eat her. And, uh, and you know this is exactly what happens guys uh, let me go to the next point because now he, he comes just near to my house and I was filming uh, I was recording uh, while uh, th 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 this bit is very painful guys because you see her struggle and fall and uh, unfortunately I cannot uh, like play it because the computer cannot handle it but it was really, really painful to watch these guys. Just struggling there, unable to move, unfortunately. Just falling more and more into this, uh, into this thing here. And what happens is that uh, another bird here, 
let me see if I can she's struggling all the time you know and uh, another bird that lives there in that roof there that I see all, all, the, all the time he's not a migrant bird it's one of those uh, sparrow and here I show again the the thing that uh, if he was in another position he, he, the the crow here could see her I can, that doesn't let me play it so but I can guarantee you it was the same shot you know it was just there and maybe right now this burden it's very hard if it's still alive guys with all the predators there are here guys um, so what happens guys uh, a sparrow comes here just to check her out you know what, what, is, she, what is she doing you know but uh, just and here's the sparrow guys look just uh, approaching her seeing her condition and everything but c cannot do anything you know and so what it does it just sees her there and uh, and then leaves you know and here's the sparrow again that uh, this this dude is uh, all year long here doesn't leave you know and he, so he is the so to speak the resident here and the one, the, the sparrow is like me, it's a migrant. So the, uh, I love this, this bird, guys, the sparrow, as I've said many times. Uh, and it's funny to see, uh, to recognize the calls that they use, you know, and everything, you know. And so I wanted to, to close with this, guys, because look now, there is just a few meters from her, this other sparrow. But it, can, it, it doesn't uh, do much. And, and this reminded me of uh, the condition that we are living with the sheeple, guys. Uh, when the time is that, uh, you know, the, the sheeple are so weak, guys. Let's put it this in half. Dimensione, dimensione. Let's see. Let's see if this, in this way, will run f better. No, now it's running bad. So, w w here's the thing, guys. The bird, the, the, the broken bird, so to speak, the sheep is there and the healthy bird is here it's just here but you know it's just like us with the sheeple guys I mean they are weak guys they depend on uh, on the predators just like that shark that gives food to the those little fish you know and so we will try to say to the sheep oh come on what are you doing now they will uh, they are have they are weak now guys so they will be eaten by by the predators in our case you know they are uh, easy to swallow you know the swallow is easy to swallow now guys and exactly as the sheeple they are already in the mouth of the serpent guys and uh, this is exactly what uh, here you can see in this shot there is the healthy bird here I'm showing for this composition for this thing so the healthy bird here and so they are just five meters away from each other and yet you know he cannot do anything he has to feed his little chicks and everything you know has to take care of himself you know you know guys here sometimes it uh, rains like crazy they cannot eat when it rains and, and it's summer they have to eat you know because then they will take this migration go to South Africa guys again back across other predators and other uh, uh, dangers and everything you know and so uh, I guess that's it you know? is there anything else you know? also this was the beginning and whatnot so that's all uh, do we have ah let's, let's listen to the morons at the end guys the uh, the really oppressed people you know the those morons there and I will leave you with that. Hi, I'm Michaela Lake. Young people are the most radical people because we they still have that yeah. boldness and that yes. like I think also mm -hmm. just like intuition mm -hmm. of yeah. like, this is wrong, like and this is you know this is an injustice mm -hmm. and like I think there's just like so much mm -hmm. just like because they haven't been dampened in their spirits to yeah. be bold and like to just actually just be yeah. themselves. Yeah. I think it's just yeah, yeah, I themselves. Think, like, that, you like, know. Is Through their reptilian, you know. Like imagining uh, for better futures. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. But yeah, I mean. Yeah. I feel like I have to tell a story about my goddaughter at this point. And Joe, I think I told you this before. Um, 
but um i so my goddaughter is two and the other day we went to uh like a, a park here in london um with some of the most wonderful trees and if you know anything about me i hug trees um i'm a tree hugger um in all the literal sense of the word because we've been so taught by the systems around us and particularly capitalism, but actually I'm learning more and more that, you know, that's so connected to white supremacy as well, like how white supremacy functions. What if I knew that who I am as a human being, as a child of this earth, as whatever your spirituality might help you to understand, what if I knew that, you know, I am inherently valuable and lovable and worthy and needed and important in this world.